What are your expectations for the trading week ahead? Well, I think we're still close enough to 12-month highs on the Nairobi Stock Exchange, but clearly the near-term direction is going to be set by the results season, which probably kicks off on Thursday and Friday with East African Breweries and Barclays Bank. I think in particular the banks will be a main driver for the stock exchange. There seems to be a bifurcated view. A group of people think the very soft economy, 208, 209, is going to crimp their profits. I err on the other side, and I think you know the outsized debt issuance we saw last year um, is going to allow them to have quite, quite commendable results because most of the banks would have taken up positions. They've now had a sharp mark to market rally as the curve has flattened. They were mostly in the long end of the curve. So I think, you know, looking at it on balance, I'm pretty optimistic that we're headed higher. Well, from the last batch of earnings, we remember that it was Standard Chartered that uh, really stood yes. out uh, amongst the pack. Who would be a top pick within that space for you at the moment? Well, I think Stand Chart uh, are the outlier. That they, they, they were growing EPS at the third quarter at about over 30%. Um, I've got no reason to suspect they've come off that run rate. I think they might have accelerated a few percentage points. So they would be the first choice amongst the top five looking back at last year. Then I think, you know, the banks, if you look, if you look at the big cap banks, Co-op Bank is probably second. They've got a very captive customer base in the SACO sector, but it tends to be a favorite for local institutional investors and not foreign investors. And I think Barclays, KCB and Equity, Equity will be the most interesting one to watch because they, were, they went from negative to positive in the third quarter. And the question is how sharply they've accelerated mm -hmm. in the, uh, on the positive side at the end of the year. So I think that those are the main sort of banks I would be looking at. The mid-cap banks, housing finance is probably growing at the fastest clip. They're well aligned in the uh, mortgage sector and they've got a good low base effect and NIC as well. So all of those banks that are surrounded by quite a bit of positivity at the moment, what kind yeah. of player would you be steering clear from? Well, I th that's an interesting question. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think, you know, uh, it, you're seeing a lot more competition come, in to come into the banking sector. There's a lot more, uh, a, a more, more of a Darwinian struggle in raising uh, bank deposits. I would be very nervous with those banks that don't have a proper footprint and are paying a high price for their deposits. And uh, you'll have to correlate that from the number of branches mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. <laughs> well, let's take a look on, because also on Thursday, outside of the banking yes. arena, as you mentioned, we've got East African breweries out with numbers as well. Yeah. We had Diageo's results offering some yes. clue as to what we should be expecting here with uh, strong performances being put on mm. by their African operations. What are your expectations mm. out of East African breweries? Well, they particularly singled out Harp Nigeria and uh, Tusca Kenya as their standouts and their stables. So I think, you know, one has to expect a pretty muscular performance from East African breweries. It's trading on a, uh, a trailing PE of about 16. Um, average in emerging markets, I seem to think, is around 19 to 20. So you've got a little bit more. And I think you're probably going to get an acceleration in their earnings. Uh, how much, I'm not sure. Probably about 15%. And I think that's perfectly satisfactory. And I think what Diageo is signaling is that there's a great deal of value in this franchise. So I think you know, that price is well held. Foreign investors always like the brewing stocks. And they tend to be the outsized player when it comes to East African breweries.